Hey everyone, Wags here from Eagle Dynamics. In this DCS F16C Viper video, we'll talk about the use of the GBU24B Paveway 3 laser guided bomb with the Viper. Like the GBU10, the GB24 also uses a 2,000 pound class warhead, but it has a much more advanced autopilot and larger control surfaces that allow a greater standoff range of greater than 11 miles when dropped high and fast. Lower and slower result in reduction of range, of course. The bomb can be carried on stations 3, 4, 6, and 7. Once dropped, the GB24 can pitch up, turn to bump up, to climb and increase range. Like all laser guided bombs, they require laser designation of the target from your own targeting pod or remote laser designation source. Let's get started. Alrighty, so let's drop some GBU24s. First things first, let's make sure that the uh, master arm switch is set to arm, and we're going to set the laser to arm now before I forget. Now, because the GB24 is a laser guided bomb, we'll need to make sure that the laser code that the bomb is going to be looking for in that secret of it is going to match the laser code that the targeting pod is designating at. So, to first check the uh, bomb code, we'll press and hold the K button on the keyboard, and we can see it's 1688. Release. Now, on the ICP, we're going to go to List, Miscellaneous at 0 laser at 5 and here on the targeting pod we can see that the targeting pod laser is going to designate the target also at 1688. Let's return out to the CNI. Let's go to air to ground master mode and here on the uh, right MPD or multi-purpose display we can see we have the uh, GBU24 stores management system or SMIS page called up and we can see we have two of them on uh, OSB6, we go to inventory, we can also see we have two, and of course we're going to always look outside the jet, see one on the left, and one on the right. Again, we can see we're in air ground master mode, and at OSB2 we have two different delivery modes. Uh, first we have pre-planned or pre, and that's going to set the designation based on a sensor point of interest, and that could be our current steer point, or it could be a designation from, say, the targeting pod, uh, the air ground radar, or any other sensor that can create a sensor point of interest. Pressing OSB2, we can also go to visual mode, or viz, and we do that. If you look up here on the HUD, we can see an asterisk up in the top corner. That indicates that the HUD, or the heads-up display, is our sensor of interest, or our SOI. And now, using the uh, cursor switch, we can slew that box around to where we want to designate a target, and then press forward on the target management switch or team switch and set that as the target to designate. But for today, I want to do a pre plan. So let me uh, cursor zero that out, go back to pre plan. Also, I want to go to uh, steer point two where the target is. Okay, coming over. So for uh, the GB24, we have different options for a few settings and release parameters. And what we can do is we can actually set the, uh, the bombs to different fusing and uh, release parameters based on the profile that we select. So we have profile one, and if we go to uh, OSB seven, we can go to two, three, four, and then back to one. So in this case, I could have uh, one bomb on profile one with a certain set of uh, settings, and then I can go to profile two with a bomb with completely different settings. Below that, we have the ability to drop as a single or as a pair. I'll do a pair today. And when a pair, we can also set the uh, distance between those impacts. Uh, right now, it defaults to 50 feet, but we can hit this OSB here and go all the way up to 500 feet. And then back to 50. I'll keep it at 54 today. So at OSB uh, 20 and 19, uh, we have zero date on those, so we're going to punt on those for now. Uh, below that, we have our uh, few setting for either the nose, the tail, or nose tail. I'll keep it nose tail for today. And then finally below that, we have our AD, or arming delay. And that's simply the time it will take for that uh, bomb to arm once it's released from the jet. So here in the center, we have AD zero seconds. Uh, that doesn't seem very safe. 
So we can press on the OSB and let's repeatedly hit that until we get to one second, and that's better. And like I said, we have a control page. Click on that. Right now, the current time of flight based on our altitude and airspeed is 61 seconds. Below that is our queued range, which defaults to four nautical miles. And this is a small little circle we see here on the dynamic launch zone of the bomb on the right side of the HUD. But we can adjust this. So at this airspeed, this altitude is probably going to be about eight nautical miles. So we'll press on the OSB, type in eight, zero, 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 and enter. Now it's at eight. And now we can see the small circles right at the top of that DLZ, which is what we want. And then coming down at the bottom, we have our release angle, which defaults to negative 30 degrees. We, want, we can adjust that as well. Let's get, we're going to do a level drop, so I'm going to set this to zero. So pressing the speed, we can hit the, uh, the negative uh, option here to go between negative and positive. Type in zero, enter, and now the angle is zero. Come back out to the main page, so we can see the uh, bomb is ready. Queued range is eight nautical miles. Army delays one second, and release angle is zero. So I think the bomb's pretty much set up, ready to go. Uh, let's actually designate the target now through the targeting pod. So FCR, targeting pod. We're going to make this our sensor of interest, our soy. So we're going to go down or aft on the display management switch on the stick. Yeah, just my contrast and brightness a little bit. Field of view. Zoom in a bit. So it looks like we have a couple of IL-76s. I'm going to place my line of sight cursor on that first one. I'm going to uh, press forward on the target management switch or team of switch and make that a point track. And that also now is my sensor point of interest or my SPI I'm going to be bombing on. Up on the HUD, we can see the SPI indicated as the box here. The long vertical line is my azimuth steering line, or ASL, and on the ASL is our release queue, and that's going to march down the ASL until it intersects with the flight path marker, or FPM, to indicate when to drop that bomb. On the right side, again, is our DLZ, or dynamic launch zone, uh, defaults to 20 miles at the top, and then the uh, open bracket here, or close bracket, is going to be the dynamic launch zone to win the drop, which also, again, matches our queued. We have our range, and then our time to release. Uh, once the bomb is dropped, the time to release will transition to time to impact. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, unpause. So, just like uh, any laser guided bomb, I'm going to fly to align the flight path marker with the ASL. We're about 16 miles out, 55 seconds until drop. And just like before, uh, once uh, we get close and that release queue starts marching down the ASL, I'm going to press and hold the weapon release button. And once that release queue passes the FPM or flight path marker, uh, the two bombs will automatically come off the jet and I'll start to designate the target with the laser by pressing and holding the trigger to fire the laser. And then, of course, once those bombs uh, come off the jet, I just want to fly to make sure I have a line of sight of the targeting pod uh, to that designation point. You can also see the carrot on the DLC, which is the current range, just about at 8 miles. Okay, coming down, holding down the weapon release button. Okay, bombs away, laser on. Let's do the flashing 1688.
and impact. So folks, I hope you enjoyed this little look at the uh, GVU24, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.